Hey guys, it's Chartix. I'm starting a new RSC progress uh, video series, so I'm going to start letting you guys know, you know, what's going on with my main, all the achievements and drops I've been getting, goals and stuff, any other notable things that have been happening. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, leave a like or a comment if you do, and I'll just, I'll keep making these, so enjoy. Yeah, so I started with fishing in Catherby because I really wanted to cook some food for training and such. And so that's basically what I did for like a few days. I use uh, RuneScape Classic Plus client, so you might be seeing things that aren't in the main client. I did a lot of harpoon fishing because I felt like it. Yeah, I mean, I was on World 2, so... There are tons of bots. I'm pretty sure every single person was there was a bot. There were even people on the other side of the river just standing there for no freaking reason. They've been doing that for like a month now. I was using mouse keys, which is basically you use the numpad to click the mouse. And only in RuneScape Classic is that really, really needed, especially for like monotonous tasks and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think I caught like a thousand tuna and 500 swordfish. It was it was awesome got all the way up to 60 fishing um so i was really happy about that only five more levels and i can do fishing guild that's gonna be awesome i'd like to do some um lobster fishing instead of just um harpooning because i mean i just don't have enough lobster in my bank <laughs> i feel like that's something everybody fishes once i get 65 fishing drink a fishing pot and i'll be able to left click cage which is gonna be awesome but anyway, yeah, so I cooked a bunch of fish after that, and that was awesome. Met a new person. Um, I noticed someone who wasn't actually, like, a, a usual, you know, like, you can notice in this game when, like, there's someone new that around or something. Like, you don't see the exact same people walking around. Um, but, yeah, it was awesome. He turned out to be uh, another legit player, at least it seemed that way. So we just hung out and cooked some fish, and... He was like, yeah, it was like 4,000 days since I last logged in, and I love that. I did end up getting 60 cooking, but I forgot to record it, so. Farm making has always been one of those skills that I thought was completely pointless, especially in this game since you can only burn regular logs, but it happened to be the only skill that was like lower than 45, so I had to train it to 50 just to get my stats to look nice, but I eventually went from 53 to 54 woodcutting can't wait to get 60 so I can cut used and 60 fletching in conjunction with that. Got my fire making from 41 to 50, which was awesome. Now I'm not going to do anything with it for a long time until I actually go for 60 based, but that's a long ways off. But I found the perfect place for this, though. People usually go to Draenor, you know, the, uh, the that section of the forest between Lumberton and Draenor. There's a decently dense um, section of forest in that area, but there's an even better one, in my opinion, uh, just north of Folidor. If you go along that ridge that goes north into the wilderness and by Black Knight's Fortress, like, that's a lot better. Just, I think it's a lot more dense. I don't know, maybe. Let me know what you think about that, but yeah, that, that tree would be pretty awesome. Just run up and down that, and, you know, got a full inventory of logs and just started, you know, lighting fires, and eventually I got to 50 fire making. I thought I'd do some combat since I got kind of bored of skilling. These days I do uh, Shadow Warriors mostly. Honestly, I've been not getting the best drops from them. Lately it's been like herbs and mostly cosmic runes, which never hurts. Bloods, deaths, lots of weapon poison, some black throwing knives, and some adamantite spears, but... Not much in the rare drop category, um... A loop half. Oh, I already have one of those. Man, that just grinds my gears, I have to say, because... If we look at the, uh, Shadow Warrior wiki page, it says that half loop half is a very rare drop, but so is half dragon square shield, so... I wonder what the ratio difference is, because I've gotten two loop halves now, no diamonds, no tooth half, uh, and no dragon half, so... Yeah, I wonder what the uh, ratio difference is there, but yeah, that sucks. I... 
That's completely useless because um, even crystal keys can't open the chest because it's glitched, but anyway. I switched to pit scorpions after a little while because I ran out of food and I uh, got 68 attack. Decided to hit up the gnome clothing store and got some new threads. Then I decided to check out Hobgoblins near the Crafting Guild. To be honest, one of my biggest goals right now is 55 herb loss so that I can make super strength potions. So I have the herbs almost where I'm going to buy them, but I really needed the ingredients. So I started collecting limpwort roots and snakeweed. So I did that in my fancy attire for a little while. Next I did some ice giants. I really just wanted a black kite shield drop and maybe some big bones for prayer experience. Other than that I usually don't go to ice giants. I was on top of the mountain between Catherby and Taverly and I actually got a black kite shield drop. I don't know what it is about those. Maybe just because it was in demand but I always wanted to collect those when I used to play earlier. I mean, back in the day, mages used them mostly. They're in high demand because low-level mages, you know, can kill ice giants, and so, I don't know. They might have gone for like 5, 10k. Probably not much nowadays, but it was still kind of nice 